Bronx community, as distinct as the Bogodas of the Bronx, as beautiful as the blossoms of Miami, and as unique as the breakfast tacos here in San Antonio. <laughs> How much worse can it get for the Biden family? That's <laughs> not good, Jill Biden. Comparing Latinos to tacos in a speech yesterday in Texas, San Antonio. She was speaking at the Inclusion Latinx, Inclusion Latinx event, which is insulting uh, because Spanish is a gendered language. And what Latinx means is that you're taking the gender out of Spanish. So you're changing the Spanish language. So first strike against Jill Biden, Latin. X polling finds that less than a percent of Hispanics actually use Latin X as a term. Idiots. But nonetheless, Jill Biden went on to say this out of her dumb mouth hole. But we can't get those things on our own. Raul helped build this organization with the understanding that the diversity of this community, as distinct as the Bogodas of the Bronx, as beautiful as the blossoms of Miami, and as unique as the breakfast tacos here in San Antonio, <laughs> is your strength. So yeah, calling Hispanics tacos probably not the best way to go about appealing to a bunch of voters who are saying no to you and your old syphilitic, diseased, communist husband, probably because they all left countries that are communist countries and socialist countries. Where do most Latin people come from? Well, Latin America. And those are countries with shitty socialist governments, just like your husbands. And so they're inclined to not like you anyway, and now you're calling them tacos. The memes were flowing on Joe Biden and Jill Biden and their cringe outreach to the Latin community and the Latino community, the memes were absolutely delicious. As delicious as breakfast tacos from San Antonio or the bod bodegas. It's called a bodega, you old witch. <laughs> like, you, just, you, old, you old Stepford wife, mayonnaise looking lady. Like, it's a bodega and they're, they're actually really good. You ever been in New York? You go to a bodega, it's great. You get a little sandwich from them. She doesn't even know how to say it. They don't even know how to pander well. Their pandering is so offensive that the corporate press is actually calling them racist for pandering like this. While talking about Hispanic diversity, she mispronounced the word for corner stores historically started by Latinos in New York known as bodegas, but that wasn't all. The comment came during a prepared speech in San Antonio, Texas, where the largest Latino civil rights group in the country gathered for a conference. Now the National Association of Hispanic Journalists is responding in a tweet, encouraging, quote, Dr. Biden and her speech writing team to take the time in the future to better understand the complexities of our people and communities. The group adding, we are not tacos. Yeah, no comment yet from the White House this morning. And those those comments come a day before Mexican President Lopez Obrador is here today to meet with Mr. Biden. So the timing is especially uneasy. And as excellent as an enchilada. Laura, <laughs> this is this is so offensive. But the cope is real and it certainly won't be the last time we see the cringe come flying out of Jill Biden's and Joe Biden's fake teeth as they watch their party flame into the spicy dumpster fire of 2022. Jill Biden uh, tried to speak Spanish and butchered it recently. Uh, I think this was like last year. She said, si se puede. Anything is possible. So say it with me. Si se puede. The future is ours. Si se puede. And Joe Biden, of course, played Despacito in order to appeal to the Latinx youths on his phone. Man, this guy is really vibing. Get going, Joe. I just have one thing to say. Hang on here. <laughs> All right. 
The Bidens are being beat like a pinata. Myra Flores, the rock star new congresswoman out of Texas, saying that she is not a taco. And also the National Association of Hispanic Journalists saying we are not tacos (laughs) to Jill Biden. Jill Biden forced to issue a tepid apology through a spokesperson. A spokesperson. Could you imagine Jill Biden couldn't apologize herself. She had to have some spokesperson go grovel on Twitter saying that, uh, you know, they apologize and that they really love their taco community. And I just want to finish this video by saying to you, my favorite people inside of the Italian American community, you are as diverse and as beautiful as the tour of Italy dish at Olive Garden. Thank you for your unlimited breadsticks and we love you, Sabaro Pizza. Thank you so much for watching. Our channel is here for the truth and also to make you smile a little bit in this extreme era of disinformation and misinformation and people trying to control your brain and what happens inside of it. It's so important that we support independent creators like our channel, and we thank you for watching. If you want to check out some more of our videos, we highly encourage that. Please punch the like and subscribe buttons on your screen to support our channel. It's free. And ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that you are following along with independent creators who want to keep this place free. God bless you.